Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Sengoku Gensokyo. Alright. Continue. Once again, she's counterattacking. Not much we can do about it. How are we looking? Okay, let's go ahead and level you guys up. Make you guys as beefy as possible. Perfect. Alright, once again. Shank. Oh, okay. The party minus Mima. Should be okay. Am I still. Am I still. Okay, I'm not muted. And let's do this. Ow. Much I can do here. Yeah, all these dolls have buffs because of Alice. It's really annoying. Not much we can do about that. Okay, that pretty much takes care of you. Oh wow, that's gonna hurt. That hurt a lot. It's probably not gonna help, but I'll try. Okay, at least I poisoned you. Sacrifice. So everyone got healed and she got heavily wounded. Uh, heavily wounded and stunned. By one. Not pretty. Alright, let's do some more talking. Okay, she didn't counter, which means we got one chance to uh, finish her off. Save, make sure you don't, you know, get game over. I already know who it's gonna be, but I'll go ahead and take a look. Okay, no, no Mima. That's the good part. Alright, I think that's everything. All we have to do is win by a little bit.
and almost 99, 95% of the time, um, the AI will always have enough funds to fully heal. Sometimes they don't, but usually they do. Change my strategy this time. sure they die before Horidel has a turn. Alright, how's our wounds? Melee attack seems to work a lot better against Alice. One thing you gotta make sure though is don't get in a situation where it's like everyone's dead except Alice and she still has a bunch of turns because then she all of those turn points go to her and if you have no points left you just have to you'll be stuck there sit, uh, sitting there as she just cycles through all, all of her actions and just beats the tar out of you uh, for the last you know several actions. All right. This battle's pretty much over. Nice work, Wriggle. I wasn't expecting her to be that good against Alice. Actually, magic doesn't work that well. Works well enough. Oh, Fushin got a uh, affection bonus. You're my ranged guy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Doesn't matter. Wax doll's gone. Oh, how could this be? The dolls were vanquished, and Alice fell to her knees, defeated. Rainbow and Marissa stood proudly in front of her. Too bad for you, but we're the winners. Yep, yep. Losing to Rainbow is fine, but y to you of all people. Alice looked up with a glare at Marissa as she grumbled. Her eyes were not filled with hatred, nor with resentment. They displayed a mixture of several different conflicting emotions. Oh boy. Guess you really hate me, huh? It's not about hatred. It's more about... Regret. Alice turned her eyes away from the two as she spoke. The sound of her words as she spoke seemed to indicate a different reason that she refused to, s to say out loud. After all, if I had, I have lost to you, what does that make me after all this while? You know, why do you let it affect you so much? You're you and I'm me. Ain't that fine the way it is? That attitude of yours is so vexing. Rainbow had no clue what was going on, but she could sense a storm brewing at least. She tried to get in betw between and mediate, but it had the opposite effect. Come on, stop it, you two. You're both magicians, after all. You should learn to get along, guy. We ain't the same. We're not the same at all. What? Wait a second. What do you mean? Marissa and I may be magicians, but we're different. Yeah, because I'm a human magician. What's that supposed to mean? There are two types of magicians. One type are true magicians, those who were magicians from birth. The other type is a human who becomes a magician, like her. It was the first time Rainbow had heard of it. Or more accurately, she never delved too dip deep in the subject. She, so she thought everyone who used magic were considered magicians. That's why it's so annoying. You practice magic, you live in the, the this magic forest, you even call yourself a magician, yet you, you still chose to, to remain a human. I use magic, so I'm a magician. Ain't that good enough? Magic only has meaning if I or anyone makes use of it. That's what I think. Huff. You're just trying to hide your fear. You weren't prepared to bet it all on magic, so you went on the path of, of a human, or do you deny it? Yeah, I do. 
was born a human, so so I'll find worth in life as a human. Magic's only a way to make people's lives easier, that's all. I mean, I mean, ain't the same as, right? A means. A means ain't the same as an objective. Magic ain't something you throw away your humanity for. Alice's hand th flew through the air. It landed on Marissa's cheek, then remained in the air as Alice turned away. Marissa's head turned sideways from the force of the blow and remained completely still. Raymu. Eh? Uh, y yeah? I've lost to you all, so I'm your prisoner now. Yes? I'll leave the administrative things to you. Ah, uh, right. I'll be leaving then. I want to be alone for a while. Alice then left wordlessly, walking deeper into the forest and towards her house. Marissa still had not moved an inch. Um, Marissa? She's such an idiot, but... I'm an even bigger idiot. Marissa may not have meant it the way it sounded, but the impact of, of the words she carelessly spoke to Alice made her regret it immediately after. Raymond no longer knew what to say to them anymore. Alright. Alice, Shanghai Doll, and Hori Doll are all prisoners. So at least got them. And Mima is now another free free agent that's going to probably join some random AI. Alright, let's take a look at our prison. So, we got Horai Doll with Artful Sacrifice. Sacrifice is a user's HP to heal all allies. And she's pretty much average, but she's you generally want to make her into a ranged character just to keep her out of the melee. Um, also, both dolls have no negotiation skills. That's generally a trait for most dolls, though these two are exceptions, I guess. Uh, Shanghai Doll has really good uh, melee attack, but really weak uh, range defense. So don't let her get hit by magic, but other than that, she's pretty good. Uh, Doll's War deals damage and reduces the speed of one enemy. And Alice, she's generally average in all of her stats, except for range and wisdom, which is actually above average. And she also has really good uh, res and negotiation. Also, with her ability to buff dolls, um, you can generally make an army with just Alice and dolls, and you'll be okay, usually. Though, it could probably be a little bit tougher now, because I don't actually have very many good dolls. But that's okay. Let's go back. Well, actually, I think I ha might have enough negotiation for some of these. I need 12 for Alice and 9 for the dolls. Okay, never mind. I don't have enough for anything. Can I at least develop a place? No. Awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, do a defense. A wriggle. Yay! Let's go ahead and buff her melee. I'm very glad I buffed her melee for that fight because she did really good against uh, Alice. So, we're safe for the moment, so let's go ahead and end our turn. Alright, it's been a long time, but the Kirasami magic, sh uh, magic Shop's finally opening its doors once again. What do you need? Payment first, of course. There isn't really anything I want. Don't be so hasty. At least take a look, won't you? Nothing to lose there. There's a lot of things around here that'll make battles a whole lot easier. Then just hand it over. Oh, c come on. It wasn't easy to gather all this stuff. I ran around here and there, taking whatever I could, could find. Sure sounds like it was. Sorry, but I gotta levy some labor costs, you know. Anyway, if you have the time, come take a look. I'll see. Item purchase is now available. So, yeah. Now, looking in the shop does not take an action, but the moment you buy something, it's going to cost you. So, we got a few things here. We got a talisman that increases negotiation by three. We have the wind feather, which increases speed by one. We got something that increases wisdom by one, defense by one, range by one, and melee by one. My advice is to save your money and buy everything at once. So we're going to go ahead and ignore this for now. Instead, we're going to go visit the person. So let's go ahead and get Alice with us. Should be good. Hmm, 
I wonder what I should say. With Alice's considerable skill as a magician, she would no doubt enhance the army's war power. But after that incident with Marissa, it was always going to be hard to speak with her. Oh my, what would you be here for? What? Oh, come on. I'm not a ghost, you know. No, well, I'm, uh... It was only a short time after Alice's team had been conquered, but she was already back to her usual self. At the very least, she showed no traces of her argument with Marissa. You look disappointed somehow. Well, never mind that. What are you here for? Ah, right, right. Uh, do you want to fight together with me, maybe? That wasn't particularly persuasive, you know. Well, I kind of feel like I'm stepping around broken glass here with that argument between you two and all. I lost to you all, all anyway. I don't exactly have the right to refuse. Um, it's okay if you don't want to. It's fine. I'll join. Things will only get tougher from now and uh, now on, and I doubt you two alone can stand up to it. I'll lend you my strength. How's the expression to return to normal as she underlined her resolve? Well then, let's do our best. Uh, I should say a little something to that girl, too. Rayma, you don't look... Uh, Rayma, you don't have to look so relieved. In that case, there, there's one more matter to settle. After confirming Alice's position on the matter, Rayma waved Marissa over. She had been lurking further back the whole time. Hey, Alice. Marissa? I'm really sorry about what happened the other day. I wasn't thinking it ended up going too far. Hey, hey, that this ain't like you at all. I ain't the one to uh, care about pe people going too far anyway, so don't worry about it. After all, it was partly my fault too. I said some pretty hurtful things. There's currently a cat in front of me, I apologize. I'm trying to... There we go. In that case, since we'll be allies from now on, let's do our best. Right, I'm counting on you. The two managed to re reconcile and return back to normal. With that grudge settled, both hoped... Okay, Annie, you need to get down. Both hoped that no other problems would occur. Yay! Alice has joined. I'm not sure... Oh. I think there's one funny thing. If you try to get the doll, uh, Shanghai and Horai doll before you get Alice, I think it automatically fails. Which is really funny, because that means you just wasted a bunch of actions. Or, not a bunch of actions, but rather a bunch of uh, characters. So, alright. I guess the next thing we need to pick up is Sh Shanghai doll. Now, something to note about uh, Alice. Do not have Alice and Marissa on the same army when you attack. If you do, you're gonna de you'll are gonna you debuff both of them. Because just as Rainbow and Marissa, uh, Marissa gets a buff for work uh, being with Rainbow, uh, there's also debuffs for using characters that are not very compatible at the time. And right now, since Marissa and Alice have very different views on magic, they are not gonna, they don't wanna, they don't wanna be with each other. So, go ahead and confirm this. Spin, spin. After losing to Rainbow's army, the Shanghai doll did not go, uh, go back to her master. Instead, Rain remained at the forest. Yet she delight, uh, delight, delightfully jumped into Alice's arms at the mere sight of her. Now, now, didn't I tell you to make sure you come home safely? You don't have to worry so much. I lost to them too, after all. Hey, don't leave me in the dark. Oh, I'm sorry. The little one here was just feeling depressed. That, that's all. It seemed that the doll was created to be able to function even without her master around. The, with the way she leapt into Alice's arms, she didn't seem like anything more than a little kid. Hmm, it's kind of weird though, you're controlling that doll after all, so... Hmm, did you say something? Oh, no I didn't. Alright then, this little one will be joining the army with me as well. Shanghai doll's hands fell to her skirt as she performed a small curtsy. Shanghai doll is very useful. Alright, but we don't actually have enough to do anything else right now, so let's go ahead and... We'll go ahead and talk with uh, Alice. And... Then we'll talk to Shanghai Doll. I'm not sure if you can do it twice in a row on the same character. I usually try not to do... Th it sometimes feels like he... You shouldn't, like, because you know, it usually has the same response. But I don't know. I could just be rambling, like usual. Oh yeah, speaking of, how's our, like, levels? Uh, I can't even look right now. Okay. I was just making sure of a few things. 
Okay, let's end the turn. I could pick up the... Um, I'm gonna pick up Hori Doll, of course. Rumia joined. So Rumia is now part of the Hegan Guard. That's kind of interesting. I'm not too worried about uh, Rumia, though. Okay. So we're gonna pick up... Let's go pick up Hori Doll. That's taken care of. seeing who I can use. It's not really very many people. I'll just use these three. Okay, confirm. Horai, have you been well? After losing to Rainwood's army, Horai did not return to our master, but instead sat at a deserted area of the forest lifelessly. Alice took the doll into her arms and hugged it tightly. Hey, this doll seems really creepy. I can't tell what it's thinking at all. It doesn't react when you talk to it either. How rude. This girl is just a little reticent. Reticent, I guess that is how you say it. That's all. Right, Horai? See? She uh, she smiled just now. Alice called her uh, reticent, yet none of her dolls could talk. Alice said she had smiled, yet Rainbow didn't see it at all. Sorry, I didn't catch it. Jeez. More properly next time. Anyway, Horai, you'll be coming to Rainbow's army with me, so make sure you do your best. Nod. Ah, it moved! In the end, all Rainbow could think of was making sure that Horai didn't, wouldn't be uh, staring at her silently as, at her bedside while she slept. Yay, Horai doll. Okay. I could pick up these two dolls, but honestly, they're not that good, so I'm not going to worry about them. I would like to have more dolls, but that's not really an option. Anyway, how are we looking experience-wise? Well, one thing we definitely want to go ahead and do... Get you guys caught up. Because having a defense army will be nice. I don't really need anything for you. This video is going to probably be, uh, the rest of this video is just going to be mostly just getting prepared. And maybe some shop and some shopping. Anyway, let's go ahead and develop. Okay. Now we need 12. That takes care of our turns. Eventually, I'm pretty sure the Hegan Guard's going to declare war on us. Fairly certain. So, there's no reason to really rush. Unless you just want to hit them before they, you know, heal up. Or get uh, too beefy. Alright, everyone else is pretty much set. I mean, I could keep leveling Rainbow and Marissa, but that's just going to get expensive. So, we're just going to spend this time to go ahead and keep developing what we have. do this. Yeah. So I need to switch to a different one. I always, always try to develop as much as possible, that way I just have, you know, money laying around. So I can always, you know, upgrade. I don't 
think I have enough for this one anymore. Yep, I do. Just barely. recruited, but I think it was just like a ghost or something. Yep, just keep developing. It's like Civ 5 all over again. everything here. Oh, there are two of these. Technically, I don't really need to buy everything, but it's nice to have them. So now what we can do is give you a short sword. Give Marissa a magic scroll. Give Alice a... Uh, Feather. I don't think anyone really needs negotiation at the moment, so I won't worry about that. Actually, we'll give it to you because you have the highest that's not a burnt. Okay. You have. You can have an amulet, get yourself some defense, and let's boost up your wisdom just to make you a little less squishy against it. And there you go. So some extra stat points right there. I think it's because we just took out the two stages pretty quickly. I think you actually get a different um, uh, event if you like attack the, the uh, yokais, the yokai army, like before they attack you. There's also certain events that'll pop up when you attack uh, certain armies with certain characters, kind of like uh, brigadine. attack me. That's kind of weird. But it really doesn't take that long to do this, so... Just cost turns. To, I can go and just attack the uh, the human village. Start getting that started. But I don't think that's really necessary.
Yeah, now we're making tons of cash. So, let's make use of that. Oh, now it's, now it's 20 per point. Which is fine. It's not like I need money now anymore. anyway. Alright, let's continue developing. It is possible to um, do a partial um, develop, but what all that means is you're taking twice as many actions to get uh, an upgrade. like uh, not much in the form of events happening here. Tell you what, I'll go ahead and call this a video. Well, actually first. Level up. Level up. And level up. Now she's at the threshold, so she won't level up until I can't level up with her, her up with money anymore. Very useful. Anyway. Go ahead and call this a uh, video. Hopefully the AI is not growing too strong. And when we come back, I'll have everything developed, assuming, uh, or, well, I'll either have everything developed or an event will happen. Whichever comes first, that's when we'll start the next video. So I am Theta Prestior, and this was Sengoku Kinsokyo. See you guys later.